1001. Okay. Good morning, everyone. If everyone please rise for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Well, I'm going to call this meeting to order. I'll entertain a motion for the reading and approval of the minutes of the last meeting. Motion. Second. The question? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opportunity for the public to address the board agenda items only. Okay. Proclamation presentation 230276. Proclamation declaring yep. October 24, 2023 to be World Polio Day in Lackawanna County. Commissioner Shermack. Rotary is a global network of neighbors, friends, and leaders, and problem solvers who unite and take action to create lasting change in communities across the world. The Rotary motto, Service Above Self, inspires members to provide humanitarian service, follow high ethical standards, and promote goodwill and peace in the world. And whereas Rotary in 1985 launched Polio Plus and in 1988 helped establish the Global Polio Eradication Initiative to immunize the children of the world against polio. Since then, polio cases have dropped by 99.9% .9 and the world stands on the threshold of eradicating the disease. And whereas to date, Rotary has contributed more than 2.6 billion dollars and countless volunteer hours to protecting three billion children and is working to raise an additional five million per year to leverage maximum impact by a two to one match from the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. And whereas the eff these efforts are providing much needed operational support, medical staff, laboratory equipment, disease surveillance and educational materials. There are over 1.4 million Rotary members in 46,000 clubs that sponsor services, service projects to address such critical issues as poverty, disease, hunger, literacy, and environment, environment in their local communities and abroad. Now therefore we, Jerry Notariani, Debbie Dominic, and myself, Chris Shermack, commissioners of the County of Lackawanna, Pennsylvania, do hereby acknowledge and proclaim October 24th, 2023, as World Polio Day in Lackawanna County. Is there someone here from uh, come up and speak? I knew you were here, so. <laughs> Good morning, commissioners. On behalf of all Rotarians, past, present, we would like to say thank you for this proclamation. Uh, Rotary is currently working on, obviously, our uh, Oral Polio Day on the 24th, and we are excited about the opportunity to really bring awareness to something to a new generation of people. We're going to be looking and focusing on educating the youth on this growing problem that we once thought was going away, but is still, um, unfortunately, around. And as I gather on the 24th, I will say that we are also looking forward to the day that we all can gather to celebrate the eradication of this horrid disease that has stricken so many people. Um, I will pass it over now to the man that has worked tirelessly on this for Scranton Rotary Club, um, Joe Ricardo, who is the second vice president, please. Commissioner Notariani, Commissioner Dominic, Commissioner Shermack, I thank you for the proclamation and the support. I'll be very brief. Um, it's been nearly 70 years since Jonas Salk developed the vaccine for polio, the first vaccine. And a lot of people think polio, that's still around. It, um, unfortunately, it is. And it afflicts pri uh, primarily third world countries uh, that have poor sanitation, poor water, uh, polio breeds an area of, of dirty water. And, you know, even now with the conflict in the Middle East, there are risks of polio and other infectious diseases being, pro being a problem. 
because wastewater treatment becomes an issue and the water sanitation becomes an issue anytime there's a war. <laughs> I will say this, if polio exists somewhere, it is a threat anywhere. It's an infectious disease, whether it's polio, COVID-19, cholera, is only a plane right away. Just last year in upstate New York, we had a case of polio in wastewater that resulted in an incident of a young man being paralyzed who had not been vaccinated. Polio has also been found in Canada, Great Britain, and in Israel. Um, so it is still a threat. On October 24th, we wanna raise awareness and mobilize resources. We have a full uh, day of activities at the Geisinger Commonwealth School of Medicine. Uh, we're having over 200 high school and college students and their advisors attend in the morning for what we are calling the Young, the young uh, Leaders Public Health Summit. And then in the evening, we have a evening panel discussion of um, infectious disease experts, including Dr. Rach, Rachna Saxena, Dr. Sabine Charles from the Lackawanna County Department of Health, where we'll be talking about issues of eradicating polio and other infectious diseases, and also pandemic preparedness. Are we ready for the next major public health crisis? So I would welcome everyone to attend the evening discussion at the Geisinger Commonwealth School of Medicine. At this point, I'm gonna pass the baton to Pat Mazie is here from uh, <coughs> District 7410. She is the Assistant District Governor. Pat, do you wanna? Well, like everyone said, polio is something that we have to keep considering and we have to keep working to eradicate. As part of the district, uh, uh, Rotary International has taken it upon itself uh, to go out into these countries and to give different vaccines. And hopefully, I think we have two countries left still endemic in Pakistan and, and, and Afghanistan. Afghanistan. And hopefully in the very, very near future, it will be eradicated with everyone's help. I also want to note that James Baker is here from the Rotary Club of Syracuse, who's been instrumental in organizing the event. James? So for those who are interested, uh, the event is uh, registering people on Eventbrite. So just look for World Polio Day 2023. And if you haven't been to the medical school, please come out. It's a gym for the city of Scranton and the county of Lackawanna. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, are, are kids still required to get a polio vaccine like they were when we were kids? The, to, to start school, um, you know, obviously, Obviously, we were required to be inoculated against polio and other diseases. Right. Part of the problem is in the state of Pennsylvania, it's very easy now for people to be exempted from immunization. It's, in, in my opinion, it's too easy. Um, one of the messages we want to get out for World Polio Day, Commissioner, is trust the science. Trust the science. These vaccines, and we've seen it with COVID-19, are, are tested and retested, and the level of research in trials is exhaustive. So, you know, we didn't get polio for a reason. We got the vaccine. Right. And the fact that anybody would question being inoculated against polio, in my, in my opinion, is, is, is nonsense. It's dangerous. It's Boy. dangerous not only for the person, but for all of us. But is it a part of the standard vaccinations? It is. Okay. It is. The, the problem, that, um, Commissioner Dominic, is the loopholes are very big. Now, for people in terms of saying, I don't want my child vaccinated, the laws are very liberal today. And you have a lot of people just den denying basic science. That's the problem. Yeah. You know, it, it becomes political, the issue. Yeah. And, you know, obviously. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. All right, thank you. Uh, thank you. Would you guys like to come up and we'll give you the proclamation? Or? So are we, what are we doing? Get up slow. So how do we want to? 
Let's move this way. Let's move this way. One says. step this way. Yeah. There you go. I was ready to turn sideways. Turn sideways. Thank you. Head on, Rick. You're supposed to be looking down. Thank you. 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 God, PJ looks thin. Okay. PJ. Yes. Lost a lot of weight. You look good. I lost weight. I will. Okay, thank you. Um, uh, it's it really is very important. When when I was young, I mean, it was something that was necessary to be vaccinated, uh, and it was serious. There were a lot of people that were aff afflicted by a polio at that time. Um, there was something you were afraid to uh, to get. Uh, times change. Oh, the dark ages. Yeah. Seventies, <laughs> sixties. <laughs> ordinance first reading two three zero two six zero. Ms. Hart. Today we have ordinance number two eighty six. It's our first reading. Our second reading is going to be November first. It's the general obligation note series of twenty twenty three. Um, it is an ordinance of the Board of, Pen Board of Commissioners of the County of Lackawanna, Pennsylvania, setting forth its intent to issue its general obligation note series of 2023 in a principal amount not to exceed $11,400,000. Whereas it is necessary that the indebtedness of the county be increased for the purposes of providing funds for a project consisting of funding the design, acquisition, construction, renovation, improvement, and installation, furnishing and equipping of improvements, and or additions to the county's facilities and properties, including but not limited to street paving and improvements, bridge repairs and improvements, traffic control systems and equipment, flood mitigation projects, municipal building renovations and improvements, roof repairs and replacements, technology and information improvements and equipment acquisition, energy saving projects, and the acquisition of municipal equipment. Additional capital projects of the county to the extent approved by the board and paying the costs and expenses of the issuance of the note. Whereas to finance the costs of the project, the Fidelity Deposit and Discount Bank, also known as Fidelity Bank, the purchaser, has determined to make a loan of, to make a loan to the county in the principal amount not to exceed eleven million four hundred thousand dollars. Now therefore, being enacted and ordained that the principal amount of the note of the county proposed to be issued will not exceed eleven million four hundred thousand dollars. The county hereby approves the project. The note is hereby declared to be a general obligation of the county. The purchaser is hereby designated as the paying agent and sinking fund depository for the note. The proposal is hereby accepted and the note in the principal amount not to exceed $11,400,000 hereby authorized to be issued and sold is hereby awarded and sold to the purchaser. All expenses incurred in connection with the issuance of the note shall be paid out of the proceeds derived from the issuance of the note. The proper officers of the county are hereby authorized to execute and deliver such other documents, certificates, agreements, 
and other instruments and to take such other action as may be necessary or proper to the effect of the completion of the financing are the intent and purposes of this ordinance. The full ordinance in its entirety is available on our website for review. Thank you. Mr. Balzoni. Uh, good morning, commissioners. As uh, attorney Brian Kosolansky was out of town, I will address uh, both ordinances. Uh, regarding ordinance 23260, both ordinances 23260 and 23261 involve the uh, capital projects financing initiative introduced to the board at a prior meeting. This ordinance, is, this ordinance authorizes a note award to Fidelity Bank in the amount of $11,400,000 as, as noted. Uh, the note will be issued on a short-term basis, will interim fund numerous projects which are eligible for funding with a vehicle registration fee. The fee will be used to meet debt service requirements on the permanent financing, which will be a bond issue transacted in 2025. The financing and instrument will enable the county to undertake badly needed improvements to a number of roads and bridges. We had discussed the extent of the projects pre previously. The note will be issued to Fidelity Bank at a rate of 4.92%. The note will be fully funded at closing. Funds will be invested and then drawn upon as needed to undertake the projects. Thank you. Okay, ordinance 230261. Same. Thank, thank you, <clears throat> commissioners. Uh, this is an ordinance of the County of Lackawanna, an ordinance of the Board of Commissioners of the County of Lackawanna, Pennsylvania, setting forth its intent to issue one or more series of general obligation bonds of the county in an aggregate principal amount not to exceed $17 million pursuant to the Act of the General Assembly of the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, known as the Local Government U Unit Debt Act. Whereas the board has determined to accept the proposal of PNC Capital Markets LLC, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, for the purchase of the bonds. And whereas the board has determined and to desires to accept the proposal of the purchaser to incur non-electoral debt in an aggregate principal amount not to exceed $17 million. Now therefore, being enacted and ordained by the Board of Commissioners, uh, pursuant to the provisions of this ordinance, the board hereby authorizes and directs the issuance of one or more series of general obligation bonds in the aggregate principal amount not to exceed $17 million to be designated generally as the Lackawanna County, Pennsylvania General Obligation Bond Series 2023. The board determines that the debt to be incurred pursuant to this ordinance, which will be evidenced by the bonds, shall be non-electoral debt of the county. A brief description of the project to be funded with the proceeds of the bonds as follows. One, the funding, design, acquisition, construction, renovation, improvement, and installation, furnishing, and equipment of improvements and or additions to the county's facilities and properties, including but not limited to street paving and improvements, bridge repairs and improvements, traffic control systems and equipment, flood mitigation projects, municipal building renovations and improvements, roof repairs and replacements, technology and information improvements and equipment acquisition, energy savings projects, and the acquisition of municipal equipment. Two, additional capital projects of the county to the extent approved by the board, and three, the paying of costs and expenses of issuance of the bonds. Subject to the approval of the department as required by the provisions of the act, the board shall and does hereby accept the proposal of the purchaser for the purchase of the bonds in accordance with the terms and conditions of this ordinance. The proper officers of the county are hereby authorized, empowered, and directed to contact with the Fidelity Discount and Deposit Bank, Dunmore, Pennsylvania, as the paying agent. All expenses incurred in connection with the issuance of the bonds shall be paid out of the proceeds derived at the issuance of the bonds. The proper officers of the counties are hereby authorized to jointly and severally to do all and all things necessary to effectuate the issuance, execution, delivery, and sale of the bonds and the financing of the project. This is the first reading, so there's no action today by the board, and here to speak on this is our CFO, Dave Bozzoni. Uh, regarding Ordinance 23261, um, this parameters ordinance, as it's referred to, will enable the county to fund through the issuance of bonds many of the remaining components of the capital projects initiative. These projects include the public works projects not eligible for the registration fee use, such as the retaining walls and uh, dam restoration. 
the energy savings components of the facilities improvements, a new roof on the county prison, reconstruction of the courthouse through the initial phase of this undertaking. The parameters ordinance not only authorizes the debt, but allows the flexibility to enter the fixed income market to price the bonds without having to call a special meeting for authorization of the transaction. A parameters ordinance includes a maximum amount in aggregate of the prospective bond issue, as well as a high pricing cap. Given the current market conditions, we expect the bonds to price in a transaction range of about the high 4% range or low to mid 5% range. The specifics of the project itself, and we had talked about this quite a number of times, and its funding sources can be found in the nine page memorandum that I provided to the board for review and discussion previously, as well as the number of presentations that have been made by our financial advisor as we continue to refine the project um, and its financing needs. I, I will say in closing, and you're certainly aware of this, there's been quite a bit of thought put into this initiative to achieve the most that we can for a lot of projects that need attention and to achieve the most with the least impact on the taxpayers. And I think we identified what we would be looking at regarding the uh, prospective return on the projects, as well as what it would cost in order to, uh, to repay the debt. Thank you, commissioners. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, moving on, resolution 230277. Approving current payables. Be it resolved that the Board of Commissioners of Lackawanna County does hereby approve the following payables. <clears throat> Lackawanna County General Fund, numbers 363374 to numbers 363982, inclusive, totaling $2,082,608.18. The electronic fund transfers, including all payroll accounts, totaling $6,490,616.83. Okay, thank you. I entertain a motion to approve. Motion. Second. A question, all in favor? Aye. 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 Resolution 230262. Uh, thank you, Commissioner. Uh, be it resolved that the Board of Commissioners of Lackawanna County does hereby approve the submission of the 2023-24 Continuing County Adult Probation Parole Grant by the Lackawanna County Treatment Court to the Pennsylvania Crime Commission on Crime and Delinquency in the amount of $198,581. And here to speak on that is Greg Betts uh, with the Treatment Court Project Director. Greg? Good morning, Commissioners. Good morning. Yes. Uh, this is a uh, PCCD grant, uh, continuing adult probation and parole. Um, it's a non-competitive grant beginning July 1st, 2023, going to June 30th of 2024. It's in the amount of $198,581. Um, this pays for two parole officers at uh, a cost of $139,630 and department overtime um, at an amount of $58,951. Okay. Thank you. Questions? Anyone have any questions for Greg? I'll entertain a motion to approve. Motion. Second. A question, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Thank you. Resolution 230263. Approving a Household Hazardous Waste Service Agreement. Be it resolved that the Board of Commissioners of Lackawanna County does hereby approve and enter into a Household Hazardous Waste Service Agreement with MXI Environmental Services, LLC, for a county household hazardous waste collection event to be held on November 10th, 2023 and November 11th, 2023 at PNC Field, 235 Montage Mountain Road in Music. And here today we have our Director of Environmental Sustainability, Nicole Shapiro. Good morning, Commissioners. Good morning, Nicole. Every year our office gets hundreds of calls from residents who are either cleaning out their homes, they might have inherited a home from their parents or purchased a new house, and they have hazardous waste hanging out. So things like oil-based paint, gasoline, fertilizer, pesticides, and we never really have a good answer or a safe answer for them to dispose of it. So our office is going to be having a household hazardous waste disposal in, um, on November 10th and 11th at PNC Field. So this is an opportunity for residents of Lackawanna County to come and get rid of their waste they might have safely. 
they'll have to pre-register. So we're hoping to have the form up uh, by the end of the week. Um, we will be turning away anybody who's not registered. We want to keep this event as safe and uniform as possible. Um, and it will be free. And we can, um, we're gonna have everyone go on the website, get a time slot, and then we'll be checking everybody in at the event. Um, I'm really excited about it. Um, MXI is a permitted um, hauler contractor with the DEP. Our event has been approved with the DEP, so all of that has been settled. And um, yeah. It, this is quite an undertaking on your part. It but. is, it is. Um, uh, it's but, something that's been neglected for a lot of years. Yes, yeah, we don't have a lot of outlets for this stuff. Um, yeah. So I'm really excited. I'm sure um, our residents will be happy about it. And hopefully there'll be more to come like this. But, yeah, hopefully yeah. there will. Thank you. Thanks for getting it started. Uh, and let people know that like latex paint, they don't have, that's not part of it. It's Correct. an oil base, which most people use now. Yeah, latex paint is not going to be accepted at the event. Latex paint's water-based. As long as you harden it or, you know, mix it in with something to absorb it, it's not considered hazardous. Just don't dump it down the drain. Right. Um, but, you know, we want to be getting the materials that are, you know, flammable and, like, really bad for your health. Really bad. Okay. Thank you. Great job. Uh, entertain a motion to approve. Motion. Second. Question. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. <clears throat> Resolution 230264. Entering into a parking license agreement. Be it resolved that the Board of Commissioners of Lackawanna County does hereby enter into a parking license agreement with NEPA Downtown Investments, LLC, for 175 licensed parking spaces located at 230 Franklin Avenue, Scranton. Term to begin November 1st, 2023 and expire October 31st, 2028. David? Uh, again, good morning. And I'll, I'll introduce this discussion by saying that the three-page memorandum that I reviewed during the work session provides a background for an initiative to secure a reduced parking rate for many of our employees. As you are aware, many employees whose parking cost is not subsidized through state revenues are paying more than $90 each month. Uh, the cost represents a challenge for, for many. Since most of the employees are parking in ABM managed garages, we initially met with a group representing the parking manager to discuss a rate reduction. Their requirement to continue these discussions was to undertake a survey of our employees, which we did. The total number of survey respondents was 304, which is a favorable response rate, uh, representing almost 41% of the employees working in the downtown area. Unfortunately, we were not success, successful upon presenting this information to garage management. The failure to reach an agreement led to a discussion, discussion with NEPA Downtown Investments, the present owner of both the Forum and Adams Plaza parking garages. The owner agreed to bulk lease 175 spaces to the county at a cost of $55 per space. Now it's a substantial reduction from what the employees are paying already. Employees who participate will be required to be set up on payroll deduction. The county thereby will reimburse itself for the cost of the lease. The total cost of the lease is $9,625 per month, which will be offset by employee parking deductions. The initial response rate that we receive for prospective participation has been favorable. What I will add, uh, commissioners, is that in my opinion, the approval should be based on a contingency that the county receive a favorable response rate from the employees. So if we're leasing 175 spaces, uh, we want to try and secure as many employees to participate in this initiative as we can keeping in mind that we also have 38 county cars that are parking in ABM garages. Um, so I would, I would add that contingency upon approval if possible. Uh, the one thing I will also say is I'm disappointed at the response that we had gotten given our level of participation in those garages. Um, and the fact that we really did not receive a response based on the last communication was very disappointing. 
That's with ABM you're talking about that. With uh, ABM and Community Development Partners of Scranton, uh, which is the, uh, the concessionaire for the management of those garages. Uh, but uh, correspondingly, we did receive uh, some really keen interest from NEPA Downtown Investments, and they were very enthusiastic about the prospect of, of uh, providing space for our employees. So bottom line is that this will be a benefit to the employees at no cost to the county. Uh, it is. Uh, $92 a month for many of our employees is punitive. There's no question about that. And the fact that we would require the employees to be set up on payroll deduction means that uh, neither the county nor the owner of the garages would have to chase people for payments on a month-to-month -month basis, which was a consideration as well. Sure. Okay. Thank you. Okay. I'll entertain a motion to approve. Motion. motion. Second. The question, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Resolution 230265. Uh, thank you, Commissioner. Be it resolved that the Board of Commissioners of Lackawanna County does hereby enter into a lease agreement with Hail Trailer and Break and Wheel Incorporated for Hail Trailer to lease approximately two acres of unimproved land located in the rear of the county's property at 1280 Mid Valley Drive, Jessup. On a month-to-month -month lease to begin November 1st, 2023, the county shall receive $1,650 a month. Uh, Commissioners, Hale Truck, this is the property behind our Roads and Bridges Department. Right. It's vacant land. Uh, in the past, before COVID, Hale had rented this for us to store trailers on, and then they canceled the lease, of course, when COVID hit, because their business declined. They didn't need it, however. They're back in operation, and uh, they're seeking to lease it again. We did get an increase from 1500 to 1650 a month. And it's month to month, so if at any time the county needs the land for other purposes, we can provide them 30 days notice to uh, terminate the lease. Okay. This is uh, land that's uh, close to our roads and bridges uh, Correct. facility, yes. and it's, it's a piece of property that we really should not consider ever selling. No. Uh, leasing it is the, uh, is the right thing to do. Okay, I'll entertain a motion to approve. Mo motion. Second. Question, all in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Resolution 230266. Awarding the EPA Brownfields Assessment Grant Writing Services. Be it resolved that the Board of Commissioners of Lackawanna County does hereby award the U.S. EPA Brownfields Assessment Grant Writing Services and enters into a professional service agreement with AMO Environmental Decisions, Earth and Environmental Resource Management, 875 Northeastern Road, Doylestown, PA, for specialized grant writing services in support of submitting an application for a U.S. EPA Brownfield funding grant for fiscal year 24 with a cost of $8,500. And here today we have Sandy Opshinsky from our Economic Development Office. Hi, Sandy. Hi. Good morning. Hello. Um, this is a, a very specialized application. Um, we also coordinate with them and, and assist in this. Um, we have been successful with every application that we have submitted in support of our Brownfield program. It's because you do a great job, Sandy. Thank you so much. Anyone have any questions for Sandy? Entertain a motion to approve. Motion. motion. Second. Second. Question, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye, thank you. Thank you. Okay, resolution 230267. Thank you, Commissioner. Be it resolved that the Board of Commissioners of Lackawanna County does hereby enter into a lease agreement with UGI Utilities, Inc., 1 UGI Drive, Denver, Pennsylvania, for a tract of land at 1010 Bridge Street, Scranton, <clears throat> Pennsylvania, at the southwest corner of the intersection of Bridge Street and Delaware Lackawanna Railroad for the county's development, construction, and operation of a public park recreational facility. The term of this agreement shall be 30 years, commencing October 18, 2023, and ending on October 31st, 2053. Here to speak on that again is Sandy Opshinsky. Um, this is a really exciting project. Um, it is down literally below where the National Park Service uh, has Steamtown and below the Trolley Museum. It's right along the river. Um, there's approximately, it's between seven and eight acres um, present there that UGI was mandated to clean. There was some environmental uh, concerns which they are rectifying. Um, it was formerly the site of the Scranton Gas Works, um, which was in operation to provide manufactured gas 
to literally the entire city. And part of the historical portion of that is that is what provided um, the lights, the electric, um, the electric downtown and um, operations for the trolley and, and so on. So it's really, it's a beautiful site. There's a concept in place that we're looking at. Um, this is the first step in putting this forward. This lease agreement was necessary to then be able to go out and obtain grant funding to then work on the development. So with this lease agreement, this basically is giving us site control um, along with UGI. This is commonly referred to as the Boomerang Park. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be a beautiful thing down there. For the shape of, it's, it, yeah. it's, it's gonna be a great, it's gonna be a great Yeah, it'll be, it'll be really something. Okay, I'll entertain a motion to approve. Motion. Second. Question, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Thanks, Sandy. You're great so job. welcome, thank you. Resolution 230268. Entering into a cooperation agreement with the Borough of Music. Be it resolved that the Board of Commissioners of the County of Lackawanna is hereby authorized to enter into a cooperation agreement with the Borough of Music for the Music Borough Cotter Street Storm Sewer Project. Be it resolved that the Board of Commissioners does hereby award the following Community Development Block Grant Construction Contract to the Borough of Music for general construction for the Cotter Street Storm Sewer Project to Stafersky Paving Company, 3 Export Lane, Archibald, PA, at a cost of $444,171.60. And here today we have our Community Development Manager, Peggy Picotti. Good morning, Commissioners. Good morning. Um, morning. This is standard procedure for the CDBG program. Um, we're going into agreement with Music Borough and with Strafersky Paving to um, complete this project. It's a storm sewer project on Cotter Ave. Anyone have any questions for Ms. Picotti? Entertain a motion to approve. Motion. Second. Any question, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye, thank you. Resolution 230269. Entering into a cooperation agreement with the Borough of Taylor. Be it resolved that the Board of Commissioners of the County of Lackawanna is hereby authorized to enter into a cooperation agreement with the Borough of Taylor for the Taylor South Pond Street Improvements Project Phase Two. Be it resolved that the Board of Commissioners does hereby award the following Community Development Block Grant construction contract for the Borough of Taylor for general construction for the South Pond Street Improvements Project Phase 2 to American Asphalt Paving Company, 500 Chase Road, Shavertown, at a cost of $84,210. Again, standard procedure with CDBG. Um, we're going into contract, we're at an agreement with Taylor Burrell and it's a phase two project for Pond Street and Taylor. Okay. Uh, anybody have any questions? Um, I'll entertain a motion to approve. Motion. Second. A question, all in favor, aye. 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 Great job, Peck, thank you. Thank you. Resolution 230271. Thank you, Commissioners. Uh, be it resolved that the Board of Commissioners of Lackawanna County does hereby enter into a seventh amendment to the concert concession agreement by and between Lackawanna County and Lackawanna County Performing Arts Authority and Live Nation. The term of the agreement is hereby extend for a one year period with a new expiration date to be December 31st, 2024. This is the Live Nation's concert agreement for this, the pavilion and uh, we're gonna extend it for one more year. This is basically just an extension for that a year correct. that we can the incoming commissioners can decide what they're going to do going forward. That is correct, Commissioner, yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Entertain a motion to approve. Motion. Second. Question, all in favor? Aye. Aye, Aye. thank you. Resolution 230272. Ratifying a traffic plan proposal. Be it resolved that the Board of Commissioners of Lackawanna County does hereby ratify and accept the proposal of a maintenance and protection of a traffic plan from United Traffic Control, 810 Mill Street in Dunmore. This comes in at $20,250. This company is responsible for making sure that our mural artists are protected this fall and for next year, they submitted the traffic plan to PennDOT and got it accepted by PennDOT. They are also responsible with coordinating with the drop-offs of the um, 
concrete protection barriers and making sure that the closure of the lane is the way that PennDOT requires it. Thank you. A lot of people wonder why we're responsible to paint that. That's an agreement that was done by previous administrations uh, between Lackawanna County and PennDOT. Uh, it's something that can be vacated, uh, that would have to be, but it, it's past that point for right now, but that would be a discussion for, for the future so that Lackawanna County is not responsible for that, that painting of that, or the maintenance of that wall. Those walls. Okay, thank you. Entertain a motion to approve. Motion. Second. Question, all in favor? Aye. 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 Resolution 230273. Entering into a medical office space lease. Be it resolved that the Board of Commissioners of Lackawanna County does hereby enter into a medical office space lease on behalf of the Lackawanna County Department of Health and Human Services with Moses Taylor Hospital, 700 Quincy Avenue, Scranton. Lease to begin November 1st, 2023 and expire October 31st, 2024 at a cost of $2,032.50 a month for 1,291 usable square feet. Good morning, Mr. Commissioners. Good morning, Mr. Um, as part of our application process for certification for the Department of Health, we have to ensure not only that we've had all the hiring, training, equipment, we also have to have physical space uh, prior to the application. Um, the funding for this will come from our existing allocation for the Department of Health and will not encumber the county with additional funds, but this will allow us then to submit our application to the state for certification. And once that happens, then that, that would begin cash flow from the state and participating with us uh, in the, the Department of Health. This is an important part to the, the, the finalization of the uh, health yep. department. It's a critical part, yes. Yeah. Okay. All right, anybody have any questions? Entertain a motion to approve. Motion. Second. And the question, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you, Bill. Thank you. Resolution 230274. Thank you, Commissioner. Uh, be it resolved that the Board of Commissioners of Lackawanna County does hereby enter into a GPS electronic monitoring amendment with Sentinel Offender Services, LLC for the Department of Community Corrections. The contract will be effective until December 31st, 2027. Uh, commissioners, this is the electronic monitoring bracelets that we use for people on probation and parole. Um, we are increasing the number of units from 100 to 150, but we're also getting a reduction in price from $3.10 to $2.80 a unit uh, per day. So that's... And this is a, a monitoring system where they can actually see where people are. That is correct. It provides right. GPS tracking so we can actually track where they're, not just if they leave their property, but actually where they go and where they're at. And it's actually cheaper than... It's saving us money. Yeah, that's correct. Yes, yeah, at the end. Okay, thank you. Uh, entertain a motion to approve. Motion. Second. Question, all in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Resolution 230275. Appointments to the Health and Welfare Authority. Be it resolved that the Board of Commissioners of Lackawanna County does hereby make the following reappointments to the Scranton Lackawanna Health and Welfare Authority. Vincent Obell, Oliphant, term to begin immediately and expire on December 31st, 2027. Timothy Farrell, Clark Summit, term to begin immediately and expire on December 31st, 2027. Okay, anyone have any questions? I'll entertain a motion to approve. Motion. Second. On the question, all in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, motion 230270. I'd like to make a motion to accept the quote from CDW government for Discussion of the county to cost $17,600. Mike Brown's going to talk about it. Go ahead. Pardon me? Well, Mike. Mike. Oh, good morning, commissioners. Um, just to give a brief part of what this DocuSign contract will actually do for the county. This will allow us to go more paperless and also enact in more real-time signatures for certain applications within the county government. So from adult probation to actually get information signed from their um, parolees to things in the DA's office to actually get, um, I would say, uh, any information coming in for cases signed correctly and quickly to 
Office of Youth and Family Services to actually get signatures for people who don't have computers. It'll go onto their cell phones, so this way they can get accurate recording in real time. Okay, in real time being the key thing here. Yes. Okay. All right, thank you. Well, I've made a motion. I'll entertain a, a second. Second. Any question? All in favor? Aye. Aye, thank you. Opportunity for the public to address the board. Joan? Oh. Joan Hodawan at Scranton. Um, I have a copy here of a letter dated October 11th from Mayor Cognetti and William King, the president of Scranton City Council, to the county commissioners and the Scranton School District requesting a meeting to discuss and explore potential avenues for relief for the residents who were negatively impacted by the September 9th flooding event. Are you aware of this correspondence? Yes, and we've scheduled a meeting with them. You, you have set a date yes. for me? I, I, I appreciate your willingness to uh, explore this opportunity because I honestly think that if we can give these uh, citizens and residents some tax relief, yeah. uh, it, it's well justified. And we, we, have, we have scheduled a meeting. It's November 9th. Again, it? November 9th. November 9th. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else? Okay. Commissioner's other business. Mr. Shermack. Uh, well, let's talk about what Joan just brought up. I mean, that is important stuff, and, and we are. We're going to meet with them and hopefully get some resolve there for the taxpayers. Well, there's still work. That's in That's process. Close. I, I think it's very close. It's very close. So we're, we all have our fingers crossed there. Um, so with everything going on, with floods that we've had, all these different things that we're dealing with here every day, it just can you imagine what's going on overseas, over in Israel? And so, you know, it makes our problems look not so bad. Um, but, yeah. you know, our hearts and prayers go out to everyone over there and hope for a, a quick ending to this conflict. Um, you know, we're reading these ordinances for borrowing. Um, you know, our job here, my job is to do what's best for the taxpayers of Lackawanna County, myself included. Um, you know, and, and, and I do have concerns, and we're, we're going to address these as we move on. Um, you know, how, how we're going to plan on repaying this down the road. I mean, it's a lot of money. We're, we're, it's a huge borrowing. You know, what's the tax increase going to be? You know, these are, these are all critical, critical, important um, questions. Um, and we saw what happened with this building. This building has been just, it's been an albatross. It's cost us a fortune. And, um, you know, that's led us into some of these things that were that being looked at now. Um, not funding the pension fund was a critical thing that we addressed coming right out of the gate. Um, not, not too important to a lot of people, but very important to the county. Um, you know, it's our obligation to to uh, fund the pension fund and to keep that to where, you know, where it should be. Um, but, you know, we're gonna be looking at this stuff and we, we, there are a lot of questions that I need to have answered, but, um, you know, we're gonna move forward and um, that's all I have for today. Okay, Commissioner Dominic. Okay. Yeah, and, and Commissioner Shermack, sorry, uh, a lot of things were, uh, this building being one, uh, have been neglected for a long, time and our intent is to not continue that you know, down that path uh, we have 150 some bridges they're neglected they've been neglected for many many years this gives us an opportunity to this this bond issue will give us an opportunity to address some of those issues and it's it's you know pardon me the, yeah prison roof uh, these are all things that are necessary uh, and, and if we if we don't do it, Somebody's going to have to at some point, or it's going to cost more money. Well, this you, building is is continually um, kills us. Uh, it, it's never it's ending. Never. And ending. even the nine one one the nine one one building that's getting old. Yeah. So you know, it's, there's it's a, it's a matter of you know life and uh, contract seven unions pay increases. It's it's just it, it's just is what it is. Skyrocketing costs. Yep. Okay, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. Second. And the question, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you.